David Cohn and what he has done here at the stadium. And Tim, also in the month of July, is his best, best month. He has the best winning percentage of anybody in this decade in the month of July. That was the pitch you were talking about. Lofted it out into right field. Long run for O'Neill, and he'll get there. What a play by Paul O'Neill. He got a bit of a late jump, but he caught up with it to make a great play. Sometimes it's nice to be left-handed because the glove's on the right hand, mm -hmm. and it was on the correct hand of Paul mm -hmm. O'Neill. And Rondell White sends one deep in the left center field. Long run for Williams, long run for Lede, and it will be Lede. Deep left center field, and the Expos are gone here in the top of the first inning. Making bite. Well, that comes from an old catcher, by the way. <laughs> of course, David prefers the hot weather, especially today after he has had that uh, aneurysm uh, surgery. Tapped off the right side. It's going to stay fair right over the back. And not even competing with a 33 and 54 record. That's the second worst record in baseball. Chopper to Brocious. Another easy inning for Cone. Yeah, when I think that to me that those grandchildren had never seen him here. It was just amazing. I didn't see the weather report, but uh, Nick Gregory uh, probably has predicted maybe some showers uh, today. <laughs> Two men out. Well, no, make it three men out. Nine up, nine down, and Cone already has five strikeouts. Striking out the side here in the third. Lazy fly ball into right field. O'Neill had the beat on it. I think that ball carried a little bit further than uh, O'Neill thought it was going to. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. Here at Yankee Stadium. And White pops the first pitch up. Another lazy fly ball into right field. And this time the wind brings it in a bit for Paul O'Neill. Three up, three down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero. First pitch from David Cohn into left field, and Ricky Lede has it. Two and two the count. Lined into center field. Bernie Williams has a track on it, and he's got it for the second out. A five run second inning for the Yanks. There's a swing and a pop up into right center. Bernie Williams coming in, and he's underneath it, and that's the end of the top of the fifth. Can't happen, can it, Susan? No, Come on. Come on. No way. Come Why on. not? Now, I covered David Cohn for about 13 years. And there's a fly ball. Knobloch going back. O'Neill coming in, and Knobloch underneath it, and he grabs it for the out. There's another ball hit in the air, and Paul O'Neill is under this, shading his eyes for this one. And there's two down. Much concentration. There's a swing and a foul back. Girardi going back. Has he got room? Has he got room? And he's got the out. He's got it. What a play by Girardi. Brocious. 19 in a row. Got him. 20 in a row. Friends. David Cohn has a perfect game. Middle of the seventh, and who better to bring in but a man who pitched the perfect game to Yogi Berra here on Yogi Berra Day. Five nothing, Yankees. Popped up. Playable. Girardi. One out. Hard, Knobloch, two outs. Twenty-four in a row by David Cohn.
One out. Fly ball, left field, the day. Two outs. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what happened there other than the fact that there's a lot of pressure, not only on David Cohn, but also the infielders and outfielders. And it appeared that he lost the ball. You can see the sunglasses are down, and he lost the ball somewhere up above, right center, right up above the uh, Yankee Stadium. No harm done, though. Popped up and playable. Gracious. A perfect yeah. game by David Cole. There is nobody loved more on this Yankee ball club, despite the perfect game, than David Cohn. He is a spokesperson for this ball club. Brian Cashman, the general manager, looking on. They respect him. They love him. And what a deal the Yankees made when they brought David Cohn to New York Yankee Stadium. Here at Yankee Stadium, on Yogi Berra Day. The festivities started with tears and backslapping, and it ends with tears and backslapping.